A former mayor in Michoacan, Mexico, has been assassinated. Uh, this is a very, very sad story. In fact, uh, the, uh, drug cartels in Mexico attempted to assassinate her two times prior to uh, this latest attack. And apparently, uh, Maria Santos Goro Stieta was in her car. She was driving her daughter to school. And uh, she was bombarded by uh, cars filled with members of drug cartels. Um, and they... Uh, dragged her into one car. Thankfully, they left her daughter alone. She was pleading, begging them to leave her daughter alone, and uh, uh, magically they did so. I mean, as you guys already know, we've done numerous stories on drug cartels. They have absolutely, they don't discriminate against anyone. Uh -huh. They'll go after anyone, women, children. They'll do it in public places. And by the way, this was in public. Mm -hmm. um, the witnesses stood there and, and watched in horror as uh, she was dragged into a car. So um, two days later, she was found dead on the side of a road. Apparently, she had two gunshot wounds on her neck. Um, she had some cuts and, and bruises on her knees. And um, sh the reason why she was targeted is because she was a very outspoken opponent of the drug cartels. And even though uh, they attempted to assassinate her two times prior to this, um, that somehow did not deter her from being outspoken. And, and I find that unbelievably courageous. I don't know if it's the smartest move to make, especially considering the violence in Mexico, but you know, here are some of the things that she said prior to the assassination. She said, um, I have had to bear losses, which by the way, her uh, husband, Jose Sanchez, was murdered by the drug cartels. I have had to bear losses that I would not wish on anyone and have had to accept them with resignation and with the knowledge that it is our Lord's will that have gone on even with a wounded soul. Despite that, and despite my own safety and that of my family, what occupies my mind is my responsibility toward my people, the children, the women, the elderly, and the men who break their souls every day without rest to find a piece of bread with their children. That's right. I mean, look, we, we talk occasionally in the show about like what we would do for certain amounts of money, but like being an outspoken public servant in Mexico against the drug cartels, I don't know if you could pay me enough money to do that. And so obviously, as you said, it's, it's extremely courageous. Um, we, we love, we can find examples from throughout history from around the globe of people who've turned around a city or a state or a country and made things better. And so we like to hold those people up as heroes. And, but the problem is, is that some of the time, even when it ends up working out along the way, there are casualties. And these people who are also heroes, th this is what real life is like. Um, and unfortunately, I doubt that anybody who's advocating for the continuation of the drug war in America is going to notice this story or exactly, talk about it. Exactly. We've done other stories of the show. There was the, I think she was like 14, this, this young girl was like the only person who was willing to be mayor of her area and she ended up getting killed. Yeah. I mean, after her husband, another former mayor, was killed, she survived two assassination attempts. At that point, get out of there, man. I couldn't continue. Uh, what makes me so angry about this is the fact that we continue this drug war, right? Uh, mm -hmm. We get involved in uh, the policy decisions in other countries, including Mexico, including Latin America. And all it's doing is fueling uh, these drug cartels. It's making them more powerful than ever. I mean, think about it. The reason why these, these uh, drug cartels are so powerful is because they're so tremendously wealthy from the amount of money they're making uh, with this underground drug trade. Mm -hmm. So we need to find a way to take the power away from them. But instead of doing that, we continue to fuel this drug war. I mean, think about this. The violence, the drug violence in Mexico was not as bad as it was until Calderon said that he is launching a war on drugs, okay? He is gonna be aggressive, he wants to take the cartels out. All of a sudden, you know, after 2006, 24 mayors have been killed in Mexico, and that's just the mayors. 60,000 people have been murdered. I mean, this is huge, and, and we continue to brush it under the rug and not do anything about it and pretend like this isn't an issue. This is a big issue. So are we gonna think outside the box and do something different? Are we gonna look at case studies of other countries that have legalized drugs and, you know, there haven't been adverse effects as a result of that. No, we continue to you know, sweep it under the rug because people are making money off this war. And that's 
the sad part. This little girl watched her mother get dragged into a car mm -hmm. and then found out her mother was murdered and thrown on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. You know, these are real stories. These are real people. 60,000 yeah. people is no joke. Yeah, no, look, we obviously are going to talk about this, but I don't think, I'll go back to the five, I don't think they're going to have a discussion about this and, and come up with anything reasonable. Some people, unfortunately, even if they're not making money directly off of it, have more of a moral opposition to people smoking weed than they do to continuing a war that causes people to die. Your moral system needs to be shaken up at some point. Uh, and I think that unfortunately for a lot of people it's just it's a matter of time. I don't think we're going to change a lot of people who are in power their positions on marijuana. But eventually they leave office, eventually they die. And younger people come in who have a more reasonable view of it. Yeah. And I think that it's that sort of demographic shift that saw uh, Colorado and Washington re uh, legalize recreational use of marijuana. Mm -hmm. And maybe, unfortunately, we have to wait another 8, 12, 16 years, and maybe another 24 mayors have to die. But I think that eventually this can't stand.